friends, good morning. Happy Halloween. By the time you watch this, it will not be Halloween anymore, but it's Halloween right now. Today I'm gonna to be taking you along with me for kind of a typical audition day. This is audition number six or seven of the season of Lost Track. I think this is my fourth live audition, but then I had three like virtual ones. Well, I recorded two virtual auditions on Sunday. Like I have to submit them, but like they're recorded, they're done. I feel like when I was doing my first like big girl auditions, I like vlogged the day every time because it was like special and like different. And now that I've done like a million of these auditions, it's just like, all right, just another day, like normal, whatever. And that's kind of cool in and of itself. But like, honestly, like the main difference between now and then is just like back then, especially when I was still in school, that audition could be my whole day. Like I probably did still have to run around and do things, but I didn't constantly have to like juggle auditions against work or like constantly run from auditions to work or just like have all of it spinning. And that's what we're doing today. So audition in the morning and then I'm gonna immediately go to work after. I do actually have a shorter work day today because I teach kids, it's Halloween, they're trick or treating. So a couple of parents um, canceled their lessons like because of that. So I will get to a little early. So that's nice, especially during audition season where it's just like nonstop busy jam packed schedule all the time. And yeah, 90% of performing or trying to pursue a performing career is not glamorous at all. It's quite tiring, it's quite hard, but we're out here trying to do it. But yeah, I'm gonna like zen out while I wait for the train and I'll take you along with me for the rest of the day. Just left the building. I think it went well, like I feel good about it, but like, I mean, you know, you never know. I sang all the way through two pieces, which I was kind of surprised about, like just because of how short the time slots were. Like all the time slots are six minutes, which for opera is enough for you to sing like all the way through one piece and like part of another. But anyway, I sang all the way through the first piece and then they kind of, you know, the judges kind of like deliberate and decide, you know, what they want you to sing next or if they want you to, to sing anything else. So then they asked for a second piece and I like, I thought they were gonna have me start later in the song. Again, because like, you know, limited time and also like I had been talking to people in the green room and it seemed like that was what was happening today, but they didn't say anything. So I started from the beginning and then I'm singing and I'm singing and I'm singing and I'm not getting stopped. I make it to the B section and I'm like, I, they're still not stopping me. They're not stopping me. And and then I sang the entire thing. <laughs> it's not unusual to sing two full arias in an opera audition. One of the main differences between opera and musical theater is that musical theater, they might stop you after like 10 bars. In opera, generally, like even if they don't, they're not interested, like you will sing through your entire first piece. Like you will sing the whole of something. So now I'm on my way back to the train. Uh, I'm not gonna hear anything back from this today, obviously. I think I'll know by Thursday if I'm advancing to the finals. I have a good feeling about it, but like, again, like you really never know. Like you can have a marathon audition where they just want to keep hearing you and get nothing and you can get one and done and then you get it a quick word from editing amy i was rejected like hear me out for a second what if i took all of my rejection letters all of my pfos from opera companies and glued them together into a mural like could i submit that to moma like would they take that so we'll see but for now i'm going to leave manhattan and get to work i will have a little bit of a break i wound up auditioning a little later because they were running a little behind but i'm still gonna have a break and i'm gonna try to catch up on some video editing during that break before i have to teach. on Long Island and I'm about to do uh, some editing before I have to go and teach. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it earlier, but I recorded uh, two virtual auditions on Sunday. So I'm gonna edit those now. Luckily I was able to get those things recorded. Like I was able to get in and coordinate a recording early enough before the deadlines that I could wait a couple of days before I looked over them and went to, you know, pick out takes and whatever. There is nothing in the world that I hate more than editing my own audition videos, but I have to do it. And when I can, I like to at least try to follow my own advice and not listen to things that I had just recorded like immediately after recording them because when you do that what you just sang is so fresh in your mind that you will find every little tiny thing like somehow even more than normal and obviously that's not always possible because sometimes like the only time you can record is two days before the deadline or this that or the other thing but yeah I'm gonna go do that and like honestly I feel like just because my work schedule is what it is especially during audition season because I am constantly running from here to here to here to here I feel like I just like live in coffee shops like I have a million little spots like across Long Island just because you know it's close to this student or it's close to this or it's close to that and because I'm always in transit so it's like oh I have a gap in my schedule oh I have this I have that like I have time to kill so I wind up just like doing a world tour with my laptop across Long Island today I'm just going to Starbucks because I didn't want to like overcomplicate anything but yeah 
So I'm back at home. My day is not really quite done yet, but I am home from teaching like way earlier than I usually am. Obviously I can't vlog when I'm teaching because I teach little beans and also like no. But yeah, for the rest of the day, I'm going to finish uh, what I started editing at Starbucks earlier. I'm going to finish uh, editing those audition videos. I might submit them tonight. I might not. Like I still like the earliest deadline I have with those is like a week away still. So I don't really have to rush and do it tonight. Like I want to get them edited tonight, but like it doesn't, I don't really have to do um the like second round submission whatever is tonight. I'm going to try to submit some other uh, videos that I finished, not for my own auditions, for my own like video work. Like I had finished uh, somebody else's screen so I'm gonna try to send those out tonight. And I forgot to mention it earlier but um there were two monitors for well three there was one like at the door like there was like a desk uh, near the door like the front door to Opera America so that person was there for you to check in and then there were two monitors uh in the green room next to the the audition space. They were auditioning in the kind of recital hall that is there in Skorka at uh Opera America. That's a very niche reference but I, if you're an opera singer I feel like you've been in that space but anyway. So there were two monitors in the green room and I actually wound up talking to both of them but one of them literally Literally went to my high school like uh, like back in the 70s but like she went to my high school which I like the world is microscopic but yeah I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm gonna try to like get to bed at a reasonable hour but I make no promises <laughs>